Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Oh, Mancini turns his man. Come on, Mancini. Get inside. 1 0 Milan. Mancini at the San Siro. Loves this fucking place. Wants to be around here for years to come. And if he can finish goals like this, he definitely will be. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild, FIFA 17, AC Milan, and we sit in 10th position, a little bit of a better performance there in the last episode, Mancini really getting on the board, and uh, we've moved up to 10th, so uh, a platform here for the second half of the season, uh, we're about to hit the end of December, the transfer window will open in this episode. Um, so let's just get straight into it. No player upgrade today. I know there's been some from the past episodes, but I am pre-recording a few of these episodes uh, just to get ahead because uh, I'm heading out for a, a couple of days. But i uh, got to give you the daily upload. So let's just get straight into this one. Three big games and the transfer window will open. All right, here we go. It's a wet day in Italy, and it's Navarra hosting Milan. And, uh, well, this game only comes a few days, actually, after the last one, so there is quite a few changes to the lineup. I'm um, starting Mancini up front. He's only probably got about 70% stamina, but I uh, just don't have any faith in Konstantinov to do the job. So Mancini will start up front uh, against Navarra, who here are sitting in four. The Frisch brothers will start on the wings, and Laganov in the middle. Uh, and a bit of a different pairing in the guts. We've got Jan and Jill playing CDM. Uh, Sandoval comes in at right back from Lombardi. We're the lowest scoring team in the league, but we picked up a few goals in the last episode, so hopefully we can pick up a few more and get us off the bottom of that lowest scoring table. Let's get into this one. Mancini heating up in form. Hopefully he can find some goals today. Mancini turns his man. Oh, length. And we'll get a free kick here. Two minutes into the game, Mancini's been taken down. Uh, they've obviously been doing their homework, knowing where our goals are coming from. He's got nine in the lead. And it's going to be Oliver Fries, the young lad, five foot five, to take this free kick. Whips it up. Oh, oh, he's hit the sidebar with his first free kick attempt. That's the touch forward. Oh, Mancini comes up with it. Oh, and again, Mancini. Oh. De Costa with the save. Oh, it's absolute scenes. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Well, it was that easy. Sandoval, poor man marking skills. And has let the man through on the back post. Well, Richard tried to close the space, but Sandoval, you need to do a lot better than that if you want to play in this team, mate. And an easy goal there for Navarra, and it's 1-0. That's the pass inside, Mancini. Opens the angle, takes the strike. Good save from De Costa. And a good save, grabs the ball. Good strike from Mancini. Young, inside to Fries. Oh, there's the whistle. So we're 1-0 down. Back to Jill. Inside, Mancini gets the ball off. Here's Laganov. Laganov gets in. Yes! Laganov scores. We're back in the game. Well, the Russians done it, given the opportunity to start here today. Well, Jill Fair Mancini, a quick ball on. And the assist. The El Dente master finds the Russian. And he just whips it in off the sidebar. Class finish. And it's one all on the day. We're back in the game. Get in. Create something here. Slips it inside. Konstantinov. Oh, can't pull the trigger. Of course he can't. Oh, Santoro, that was brilliant. Not sure what Sandoval was doing. He was running around like a headless chicken possessed. And Santoro comes out and makes a class save. And it will be a corner. Oh, just with the calf. Nice. There's Young. Pushes up. Off to Jill. Down the line. Needs the run here. Konstantinov. Can he do something with it? Come on, Konstantinov. Now's the time. Feeds it forward. Oh, too heavy a touch, you fucking dingbat. Oh, Jill gets the touch. Jan controls it. 
Slips it off. Konstantinov. He's got the opening. Takes the strike. Just wide. Well, there's the whistle. We come back for a one-all draw. Not a bad result. Well, we did have the 11 shots, so we were right on top. We just didn't have the finish today. And Mancini did have to go off, but Oliver Fries gets man of the match 8.3. A really good effort from the young lad in only his second game. All right, we are in Croatia, and we're still keeping an eye on quite a few lads. Uh, there is one player that we will be bringing in today into our youth academy. It's brought us back some pretty decent talent that we will keep an eye on. But the man we're bringing in is Drago Kovac. Uh, 45 to 61. 66 to 92. Potential 5 foot 8. Um, it looks like he could possibly be a striker. All right, we are in the Netherlands uh, looking at players here. Thomas Mulder has been taken out of this uh, scout report. He's gone to another team. Cedric Hendricks will keep an eye on. Uh, Daniel De Vries we will as well but uh, nothing being signed up from the Netherlands just yet. All right, we are in Morocco, and there's a couple of players really to keep an eye on. Jamal Koude looks okay, but he's got a really low overall. Uh, his brother, Salem, looks pretty good, but uh, at left midfield, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Rashid Hachini looks all right, 69 to 94. Uh, but the man we will be signing in is Ferhat Belgazi. 51 to 69 overall, potential of 71 to 94. Looks like a right winger. We do have a lot of those at the club, but it looks like he's got some decent potential. So we'll sign him in to our youth academy. All right, we're back at the San Siro for game number two. It's Milan hosting Trapani. And, uh, well, we want to win here. We want to turn the San Siro into a fortress. We want to give the home fans something to cheer about. Mancini will start up front again. He's probably at about 70%. And I'm really hoping that another striker comes in. Uh, Trapani are in last at the moment. We sit in 11th. And a win here is what we need. Let's get straight into the action. And there's Giordano. Which is down the wing. And he looks sprightly. Cuts through. Oh, dropped. Clausen covers the ball. Slips it off to Voinov. Gets it out wide to Banks. There's Banks. Pushes forward. Mancini gets the touch. Banks! Oh, what a save. Can Mancini get on the end of it? No, he can't. It falls out to Mock. He passes it inside. Mancini can't get there, and they clear the ball away. All right, we've got a free kick here. Can we find Mancini in the box? Clausen whips it up. Looks for Mancini. Oh, just wide. Oh, great work from Choi. Good touch on him to Mock. Whips it out to Banks. Banks now goes the long ball out to Giordano. He's controlled it nicely, Giordano. Crosses it over back post. Mancini! Oh, he's gone high. Closing in on half time. It's a throw in here for Milan. Can Banks get the cross in? He can. Looks for Mancini. Oh, good defending once again. They've held Mancini at bay. And at half time, it's nil all. Mancini. Lombardi. Voinov. Turns his man nicely, Voinov. Slips it off to Clausen. Quick touch on Mark. Mancini. Works his way inside. Mancini. Oh, work the keeper. Right, we're making some weird substitutions here. Klaus and Banks and Giordano come off for Rizzo, Mozarov and Yartsev. Uh, Rizzo and Yartsev probably getting their first games of the season. Uh, Davide Lombardi just trying something out here to see if we can get some momentum pushing forward. Maybe the young kids can provide a spark. There's Mancini. Holds it up, slips it inside. There's Mock. Brings it across. Mozarov. Mozarov! Oh, gets it inside. He's done it. A 90th minute wonder strike from Mozarov. His second goal of the season. Well, a master stroke, in fact, it is from Davide Lombardi. Bringing on the low rated younger players, giving them a crack, saying, Go out there and win us the game. And it's the Mosquito himself putting it into the back of the net. A 90th minute banger from Mozarov. And Milan takes the lead. It is 1-0. Get in. And there's the whistle. So we take three points. Mozzie's done the jobby. Well, seven shots to six. A tough encounter with 21 tackles. But uh, Mock and Voinov control that midfield. The back line held strong. And Mozzie's come on and banged himself a goal. All right, youth player wants out. It's Antonio Santoro. All right, Antonio Santoro, 18 years of age, 56 overall, 81 to 87, six foot two. 
uh, central defensive midfielder. Um, well, the question is, do we want to sign him in? I think we need to because we don't really have any recognised CDMs except for Boyanov. Um, but that's just to say, are we going to have him for half a season? Oh, jeez, what do we want to do here? I'm going to pass on him. We're going to release him. All right, Ramiro Rivera has come and said he wants uh, out of the Youth Academy. Let's go and take a look at him. All right, another CDM, Ramiro Rivero, 57 overall, 82 to 88, 6 foot 1. But once again, he's defensive minded. I like physically strong players in my CDM position, um, and I don't think he's going to make the cut. So, um, sorry, Ramiro Rivero, we're going to release you. All right, Reese Fraser wants out of the Youth Academy. They're all wanting out just before the transfer window opens. All right, Reese Fraser is a playmaker. 56 overall, 84 to 90 potential CDM. Um, that is a little bit better. I don't mind a playmaker coming from the central midfield position. Um, 56 overall, he's got a little bit to grow. He will need some physicals, but he's got good passing and good curve. So we'll sign the American into our squad. All right, it is the 1st of January. Time to take a look at the U squad, see if there's anyone else uh, that we can bring in that's hit 60 overall. Reese Fraser, we've already offered a contract. Owen Richardson, 74 to 80. He's got the pace, but uh, we've got enough wingers now. Unfortunately, the Australian, we've waited too long. Uh, what I want to do is release a lot of these players now because they are costing us a lot of money. I need to try and uh, balance out the books before the end of the season just to uh, not get the money glitch. And obviously, we're going to bring in regen. So any players that are really low are not going to make the cut now uh, from this youth squad. We only really want to bring in high potential players. So on Richardson, see you later, buddy. Manolo Bello is 70 to 84 right back, 6 foot 6. We're going to release him. Bubakar Kunate, 53 overall centre forward, 83 to 89 potential. He's physically strong. We'll hold on to him. John Brady, 66 overall, 81 to 87 potential. Uh, and we will be signing in John Brady uh, to the Youth Academy. Well, into the team, should I say. Pierre Rocher is 59 overall, 83 to 89. So he'll be handy once he hits 60. Uh, Drago Kovac, we've got a striker here, 56 overall, 73 to 93. He is labelled as a winger, so he will have a lot of pace, only five foot eight. But uh, yes, could be something to help out Mancini. Uh, Unice Kanate, 52 overall, 81 to 87. Um, I'm actually going to release him. Zulang Tang, 48 overall, 82 to 88, will be released. Xu Xiao, 59 overall, 77 to 83. He's physically strong, so I'm going to hold on to him. Pierce Cunningham, 57 overall, 76 to 82. We need centre-backs desperately. He's physically strong. We'll hold on to him. And Ferhat Belgazi, 61 overall right winger, 73 to 94 potential. Um, yes, welcome to the club. Well, that's a bit of a piss-off. Uh, we've just offered John Brady a contract. Two days later, he decides to terminate. See you later, John Brady. Didn't want to play for AC Milan. Well, we've got a transfer offer for Santoro. Five and a half million. Reject all offers. All right, here we go. Third game of the episode. It's Brescia hosting Milan. And uh, we're trying to get a bit of a run on here. None of the new players will feature in today's game. Uh, we'll save them. They're not quite ready. Um, the unfortunate one is uh, Brady just deciding to terminate his contract even though we offered him one. So, uh, well, too bad, mate. Milan sit in 12th, Brescia in 19th. We picked up 29 points. We've got a game in hand on the team above us. Let's go for a win. Early corner for Brescia, three minutes gone. A good save from Santoro. They whip this one in, Voinov gets up. Giordano slips it off, wants Mancini to run. And here we go, Mancini. Come on, son. Do something with your life. Oh, fucking red card, that dickhead. That is disgraceful. Just a yellow. Corner for Milan. 12 minutes gone. Mock whips it into the box. Looks for Diaz. It's going to come out the back to Choi. He turns his man. Takes the strike. It's a poor one. Oh, jeez. Choi. Inside to Mock. Mock does well. Slips this one off. Giordano. Gets a pass inside. Mancini. Turns his man. Mancini. Oh, save from Manelli. Well, there is half time. It is nil all. Solid work from Clausen. Whips it off to Mock. Gets this one forward. Oh, Mancini, another poor touch. Oh, he's got the ball. Slips it inside. Giordano. Mock, is he on side? He is! Mock! Get inside! I thought he was completely offside. 
but somehow we've slid the ball through to him. Oh yes, played on side by the man deep on the left side. And it is 1-0 Milan. It's Mock getting his first goal of the season. Milan has the lead. Oh, come on! Fuck off! Fucking soft, Santoro! That was a soft shot, mate. Fucking... Oh. Opened up. Oh, you needed to do better there, Santoro. That is weak from you, son. You're normally a lot better. Oh, great touch from Mark. Laganov. Oh, what to say from Manelli. Well, Milan unsure of whether to attack or defend and hold on to this one-all draw. And Cheney gets held off. It's Coley now up the line. And that will be a throw in here. 88 minutes gone. Lombardi. To Sook. Oh, fucking send him off. Filthy. Yep. Fucking see you later, dickhead. And the captain gets red carded. He's just going to play this one in short. Voinov. Freeze. Opens it up. Richard. Oh, he's offside. Well, there's the whistle. A one all draw. We hold on. Ah, oh, Santoro, that was poor. 11 shots to three. We deserved a win there. We didn't deserve to give away that soft goal. And Giordano gets man of the match, 8.6. All right, today's player upgrade will be our new Moroccan winger in a Belgazi. Uh, if you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, let me know in the comments. We'll get that happening in a future episode. And this kid will get some game time very, very soon. Right, so that's where we'll wrap things up, sitting in 10th position. I have been trying to loan get man Cheney, but uh, no offers as of yet. We're already up to the 19th of January, so it's not looking too good for him this season for his uh, loan glitching. But uh, we can look at it uh, come season three. If nothing happens, we'll just keep trying because uh, he's, a, he's a big part of this club now. You wouldn't really want to see him leave, even if he's just a bit part striker later in the career mode coming on in the death. But, uh, yep, sitting in 10th, a couple of... Wins and draws in there. We're up to 30 points. Not a bad return. Uh, just need to find a few extra better finishes. So hopefully some of these new lads coming through can help us out with that. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Hit like if you are. Subscribe if you're new around here. And we'll see you next time. I'm Spiro DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.